Ladies and gentlemen, I never thought this day would arrive, but the glory of God is shown once again by streamer man extraordinaire Vosh. We are going to be covering this very thoroughly because I personally don't really like Vosh. So it all started with Vosh going on stream and uh, accidentally opening up his goon folder. We're going to go down deep into the Vosh rabbit hole today. I hope you are ready. Uh, for the extreme Vosh degeneracy rabbit hole. It all started with this. You can see this is an example of the kind of structure that I'm referring to. And then he accidentally opens up his porn. Oh, you can see this. <laughs> that cuts stream. One more time. One more time. This is an example of the time. kind of structure that I'm referring to. Oh, you can see this. So now the beauty of this is um, I am not going to get into looking at all these images separately with you and enhance because if you want to see that, you can go on Twitter and find it yourself. I cannot show it to you because it's porn. Uh, and by porn, it is all lolly and horse porn. It is, it is lollies getting fucked by horses. Uh, that is literally the entire folder. Now, the beauty is that that is right next to his taxes folder. <laughs> that is his to be sorted folder. You can only imagine how much actual fucking uh, porn he has on his computer. But his to be so sorted folder, which is right next to his taxes folder, and it's full of lolly horse porn. It's glorious. And the internet's obviously making fun of him for it for many reasons. Uh, <laughs> I, like, I don't even need to start. It's lollies. It's horses. It's AI generated. It's Vosh. It's just too beautiful to, to be led into words. Anyway, this is his response to the drama. Before we get into the absolute gaping holes of degeneracy, okay? Let's start with this one. The other one um, is like a threesome with two chicks and a guy. Those two chicks were lollies by the way like i feel like that that's why he should have elaborated more but okay and in retrospect looking at it, knowing now that that artist is a lollicon yeah i can see it <laughs> bro they look like they're six okay they're lolly they're lollies listen say you defend lolly porn just say that that's better <laughs> yeah I, I don't know now that i look at it and squint a little bit all right dude when i looked at it i think the vibe that i got was like short stack thick <laughs> kind of thing you know what i mean uh like the way uh like goblins get drawn in porn i thought it was goblin porn but it ended up just being children <laughs> that was crazy you, you'll have to entertain me for a moment on this presumed oh no vosh you are entertaining me shared knowledge of how goblins get drawn and pornography good defense good defense i am the one that gets canceled daily for being a gooner on twitter by the way and i have never saved a porn image but you know how they're all like Thick short stacks, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. The other one. Good defense. Solid defense. Um, I'm scared to even scroll through these replies. I'm afraid it's actually going to show. But I saw, I saw the freaking the stuff that he was posting. The hilarious part is, it's very obviously lolly porn. It's lolly horse porn. The end. Uh, there, there is nothing else to be said. Vosh has been known yeah, I can as see like it. this zoophile horse fucker guy for a very long time. Like this meme is old as shit. Here is a video that just came out about 12 days ago. And it was Vosh attacking Asmongold. So we have to show this to really show us the, the full hypocrisy here before descending down the... I, I'll tell you I did my research for this one. There's an entire Gooner rabbit hole that we are about to be jumping down. All right, you ready? This Vosh attacks Asmongold says his depressed knee with piss jars piling up in his streaming room. Why do people keep attacking Asmon's appearance, lifestyle, and calling him an incel? Oh, well, here's the thing. You've got to keep in mind, people always love to insult the way that I look. And I just want to let you guys know that it never bothers me. It doesn't matter. Uh, uh, do I even have to say it? Asmund Gold TV, why Japanese games go woke. I used to think of Asmund Gold as like, I, I always knew he was a conservative. And there's no forgiving that, of course. And then... <laughs> He's just, he's so awful. That's why I love Vosh so much. I love making fun of this man just because of how awful he is. Trying to change the way and- Oh, uh, he's doing the Gamergate thing. He's doing the like, uh, SJWs have infiltrated our, our media and they're trying to wokely change stuff. He's just jumping right to this. Unironically, this is why a lot of Gamergaters ended up becoming Nazis. And I don't ah, think yes. that these people are actually representing what Western audience- this People like Asmongold, that's why Gamergaters become Nazis, guys. This is just a stupid low IQ. I think that they're weird loser freaks and i don't think that they have any sort of a read why what changes what was this all vibes what changes like a poll? well the thing is like even what is this why do you keep chat links in the context about what asman is talking about somebody used ai to fix the dragon maid what's with that D a dragon maid 
king of pedophile animes. I'm not watching this shit. Whoa. See, that, that's why we're here. You just got it, baby. That's why we're here. Oak translator is finished? I don't I don't care. To the criticism, like, I have a vagina. Deal with it. I'm a funny woman. We are all talented, funny, powerful women. We are out here. It's Preach. going to happen. Deal with it. I'm sorry you're not getting laid. It's not about you. Move on. And you enable this kind of stuff. Yeah, I mean, this, this guy's got a what crazy, stuff? like, he's really dedicated. Hey, bro, I can't deal with it. I'm not watching this shit. Brain is soup. He has no idea what he is talking about. I'm not watching this shit at all. He's not saying a single thing. Like, if there's a thread that, that goes up on... Asmund Gold has been promoting AI being used to replace translators of anime. Now, the hilarious part of this is the fact that all of his lolly porn was AI generated too. <laughs> It just gets worse and worse. Right. To do this, he's been watching a bunch of Rev Says Desu videos where a woman who had to... Rev Says Desu. Oh, the the YouTube pedo lord. Oh. <laughs> now, you see, that's hilarious because Rev Says Desu supports lolly content, okay? Like, that's his that's his brain. Supports lolly content and stuff. Oh, oh wait for it. Or a woman who had to translate for... Dragon Maid. This is what Asmongold's arc for the past two months has been, I think. Dude, I, I heard that, um, I heard that Asmongold was, like, a depressed neat who's, who good, had, good, like... Good defense, yes. You're gonna argue with him in, in a court of ideas and just make fun of his lifestyle instead. Piss jars piling up in his streaming room. I didn't realize it had gotten so bad he was watching Rev Says Desu videos. Holy shit. Why do they have to make it so easy? Like, why, like, why, why can't it just be he has a bad opinion? Why, it can, it can never just be, like, this... My guy, Vosh, you are making it so easy for me just today. Guy has a bad opinion. It's like, no, he's like the most revolting human on the f planet. Is he mentally unwell? Yes, definitionally, he has to be. We're getting McConnell out for this one, boys. Coming from the guy that said he hasn't heard a moral or legal yeah! reason why having CP should be illegal. Dude, this is literally the, my... The, 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 the Vosh rabbit hole goes so deep. I learned about this guy. I knew he existed. I researched him like a week ago because someone in chat brought him up. And literally two days ago, this all comes crumbling down. It's glorious. It's glorious. In fact, and this is going to be a real hot take. I'm ready. I'm ready. Say it, bro. Say it. I have yet to hear a convincing moral or legal argument as to why possession of child pornography should be illegal. He has yet to hear a moral or legal reason as to why child porn should be illegal. Guys, this is our moral savior. I would take all my political cues from this guy. Actual child pornography. Fudge! I believe that the property rights of the wealthy should not be respected. I feel that their um, uh, uh, assets should be seized from them and that many of them should be executed for crimes against the workers of this country. <laughs> Isn't this the guy that people leaked that he's obsessed with horse cocks? <laughs> yes, he is! Bro, look at it. It's beautiful. Dude, look at all of these messages. I'd love to have a horse cock. Horse cocks are pretty hot, to be honest. I don't know about a horse cock. It's too good. It's too good. Dude, look, it's endless. It's endless. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It doesn't Hipper stop. responds to Vaj calling her a Nazi. Did you hear about what Vaj said about you? Yeah, I think he said I'm a Nazi. That's interesting. He thinks everyone's a Nazi. That is true. I'm not really concerned if a horse fucker thinks I'm a Nazi, though. Boom! I Annihilated by the pip. I don't really, um, I don't take life advice from people who are fixated on horse cock. Annihilated. Literally got destroyed by the pip. Uh, he's called me a Nazi in the past, too, which is awesome. Uh, it's, a, it's a gold star for a lot of people, which is really cool. I, I'm honored, personally, that he called me a Nazi. It makes me feel cool and nice. Uh, calling Jews Nazis is always probably the best take. Uh, I, I love when people call Jews Nazis. I think that makes a lot of sense. But, uh, yeah, um, based Pippa moment, destroyed. So, now that we understand exactly what's going on here, Vosh thinks anyone that is into lolly stuff is a pedophile. However, Vosh is into lolly stuff. Vosh thinks lolly porn, actual child porn, should be legal. Yet he calls lolly likers Nazis. Uh, <laughs> pedophiles. And he has mountains of that stuff on his computer. Bro, this is the greatest drama of all time. I take it all back. I take it all back. All the previous dramas, get it out of here. This is the real drama. So uh, there's this video by this fellow named Big Bungie. Uh, I don't really know him. I, however, uh, he apparently does a deep dive video into all the degenerate Vosh stuff. Now, there are a lot of really, really massive videos that are like an hour and a half long that cover all of like Vosh's uh, evil arguments when it comes to politics and inciting violence and stuff like that. But I really don't care. 
<laughs> you see, you see, I am here for the fun of it all. I am here for the Vosh degeneracy, just tearing this guy down. I don't need to hear your ideas, bro. You defend child porn all the time. You call people that like lollies, not uh, pedophiles. And then you are someone that likes lollies. Bro, you are my favorite fucking dumpster on the internet right now. Uh, so we are jumping right into the big bungee video on the Vosh degeneracy. Uh, this guy, this video was recommended to me by my chat, and I, I asked him if I could react to it, and he said sure. So uh, here we are, baby. Let's <laughs> let's see what we got. Apparently, this tears him a new one. And this video is from a year ago, so this is gonna be great. The greatest question of the modern day man: Who do I vote for? Shitface McFat, <laughs> fuck, what? or Mister Suck My Dick and Ball? This is the greatest way to start a video. I agree. Wh whoever you are, Bungie man, you fucking killed it. You nailed it. This is how I would start a Vosh video as well. So this is a decision that requires a lot of thinking, a lot of brain power. Shitface McFartfuck wants to raise taxes, but Mr. Suck My Dick and Balls wants- Also wants to raise taxes, just for more- less people. Wants to raise taxes. Okay, <laughs> no, goddammit. Oh shit! Who do I vote I'm for? I'm never gonna win the pre-watched allegations, no! Oh, in times like these, there's only one place to turn. Twitch politics, a yes! place- Yes! Twitch! Politic, dude, what the frick? Why is this man so based 20 seconds into the video? It's where average men get to feel like gods by absolutely destroying children or mentally disabled adults in debates on transgender. Who should we- It's true, though. It's true, though. You got the right-wing streamers sitting there just being like, Two genders! Two genders! And then you got the left-wing streamers sitting there. It's like, trans rights! And then everyone just feels like they won the world. You pick from, though, there's so many, and they say swear words and slurs. True. So this video is on the true. hairiest and most child-friendly. This video is on- Child-friendly, get it? Child-friendly, get- <laughs> Child-friendly, get it? Vosh. Vosh defines himself as an anarcho-syndicalist, which basically- Which is bullshit. That doesn't mean anything means he gets no pussy. <laughs> I love this. What the frick? Why have I not seen this guy's content before? What? Wait, is this guy seriously saying that I can't get laid? Incredible. I'll give you 5,000 if you can get Poontang before January 1st. Do you have any idea who the fuck you're talking to? What is going on? There's no way this is real. Vosh, you cannot be this pathetic. Wait, hold on. When I got off, tin when I got off Tinder because of the fucking quarantine, Tacoma wept. Even like ignoring the fact that I have a girlfriend, even if we're just talking to randos, I'm two hours away right now from being inside somebody else. What the frick? He just keeps going! <laughs> He's awful. Every clip I see of Vosh makes me like him less. It's amazing! He's a lol cow, right? There's no way people actually take him seriously. There's no way people actually support him, right? There's no way that, that he gets support by anyone, right? Like, his, his audience must only like him to, to make fun of him. This is one- I, I have two skills, and it's non-monogamy and speaking publicly. <laughs> His two skills are non-monogamy and speaking publicly! Do some fucking research. Vosh let me do some research. What is he supposed to do? Interview every person that Vosh slept with? Digitally has women lining up outside his door on a constant basis wanting to it. consume his I semen. Believe. Women of all ages, from preschool <laughs> to the grave. <laughs> Vosh does not discriminate. Vosh wanted to share his <laughs> does not discriminate secrets, so he did a video called Chad Splend, where he tells his audience how to flirt and shit. Now, for the most part, he gives. Dude, he's a leftist political Twitch streamer that's teaching his chat how to flirt. Oh my god. He's not self aware at all. Very basic advice be confident. Don't be creepy. Mm. Don't tell him what happened to the overs. I used to be the president of the sociology and criminology <laughs> club at my university, okay? Um, Wait, there what is this death note music in the background? For a group of officers that I would occasionally hang out with. One of these. <laughs> Why is he showing this? <laughs> I love this guy. Wait, what? Officers. Um, so, so, fellow students. Um, uh, one of these officers right. was a rather demure oh um, Muslim God. girl. Um, oh my god, she stop, was please. very chaste. She was a virgin. It was something that she had talked about um, with other people in the past. Um, and she trusted- What is this story that he's telling? Me, because I'm, you know, like- This uh, is Vosh talking, by the way. Like, fine. She also had, and this is largely irrelevant, huge boobs. She was really <laughs> fucking cute. I would've, <laughs> ooh, I would've loved to, you know? I would've loved to get my hands all over her. And so- Dude, there is something actually wrong with this man. There is something so wrong with him. Bro, how is it that I get canceled on Twitter weekly for being a gooner? When this guy exists and has an audience. So I asked, um, 
We were up in the uh, we were up in the mountains. Not just her and I, us and the officers and some other people. Please <laughs> stop good, doing this! Oh my god, good time. And um, while we were heading out of this nice restaurant, right, um, right. Mm -hmm. uh, I, we were out there waiting for an Uber, and I was standing next to her, and I was oh my fucking god, this looks horrible. I was thinking, I know she's a virgin. She I'm pretty so good at virgins, and that I'm pretty good at teaching. She has I'm the good at teaching. She's a virgin. She has huge boobs. She's a Muslim. And I'm good at teaching. Bro, man, the neurons are connecting in his brain. A hijab on with the hair uh, covered by the thing. So I think, you know. I'm a very eloquent public speaker. The hijab, hair covered by the thing. I mean, that'd be pretty cool, right? Doesn't that mean it'd be like an intimate thing for her to show me her hair? What the fuck is this man doing? I am so uncomfortable. I feel like Vosh is about to come through the screen and rape me right now. But then again, I'm not a young girl, so I'm probably fine. Here was the operative question. How do I indicate sexual interest to this girl without making her feel weird? Uh Bro, man needs to get that Serpentis Riz ASAP. What the frick? How do- What is he talking about? She is a devout religious Muslim girl that is a virgin. And he's asking himself, how do I sex at her without being weird? Um... It'd be really fucking weird if I'm just like, hey, wanna fuck? And she goes, oh, n no, thank you. And then just <laughs> foreshadowing, no! Please tell me this isn't what happens, because if this is what happens, then there's no reason why he should be telling this story. Leaves? And I said, um, hey, um, uh, I don't know if this is something that you, you know, at all be interested in, but oh me and my partner are in an open relationship. Oh my fucking God, this dude's pathetic as hell. I cannot believe it. How are men this pathetic allowed to exist? Oh my god. And he talks about how other people are pathetic losers? Bro. We both find you pretty cute. So, um, if, if you're at all interested in maybe hanging out sometime and seeing where that leads, then, um, let me know. And, um, she looked at me okay. and she said, she said no and left. Ha <laughs> ha. No. Well, actually, yes, yeah, she did say no <laughs> and left. <laughs> no, reverse Riz. What is going on? She said no and left. <laughs> no, obviously not. No, actually she did. She said no and left. <laughs> He's going on a three minute story about the freaking, oh my God, about the Muslim lady with the hijab intimately seeing her hair. All right, so let me get this straight. You ask the devout Muslim girl all right, all right. if she wanted to get involved right, right. in a the summary. This is what we needed. We needed the summary. Please explain. Gang bang. Okay. What did you think she was going to say, you stupid fuck? I don't even really understand the... <laughs> I mean, uh, oh, no, dude. Uh, Tacoma wept when he left Tinder. What the frick is wrong with this man? Actually unhinged. Logic of this. This like, is the best aged video on the history of YouTube. He's, t he's trying to convince his audience that he's some kind of sex god. So why, why would he tell this story about the Muslim girl where he almost comes off like... I mean, I would say, like, a kind of borderline sex pest. All I'm saying Dude, is- he sounded mega rapey. Like, that- that story- that was his story as an example of how much riz he has. Dude, that, that's his best story. That's his story that paints him in the best light. Like, he has stories that painted him out in bad lights. This is the story that painted him out in a good light. Is that the Muslim girl, she's telling this story down at the women's shelter, and it sounded mighty different. <laughs> I saw someone in his comments, they specifically timestamped the part where he talks about the Muslim girl. Your advice at the 12 minute is spot on. My partner and I have a friend we're very attracted to and have feelings for. I asked my friend respectively. And they go, this is great advice. This is excellent advice. I did this one of one of, one of my friends. I gave- Oh, what is wrong with his audience? Honestly, okay, Vosh, okay, whatever. He's weird, sure. <laughs> he literally has in his description, I'm probably gonna regret uploading this one. Yes, you probably will. Dude, I cannot believe this. I can't believe this exists them an out and it was perfect don't honestly i don't i don't even think vosh is as weird as his audience who is his audience who are these gaslighting people making believe that this vosh guy is worthy of your support do this do not do this that is terrible advice do not go up to a friend or a co-worker or a, or a man or a family oh it's a goblin just like that is terrible it. advice do not go up to a friend or a co-worker bro this looks just like little girls for those of you that are unaware this is what your average uh, 14 year old girl looks like according to vosh Worker or a, or, a me or a family member and ask them if they want to get involved in a threesome. They will never say yes and they will always look down on you for it. To be honest with you, if you're looking for dating advice from Vosh, you should probably just <laughs> give up on love. True. Bro, if you go to Vosh for dating advice, just fucking castrate yourself. Fill that hole with something else like violence or pedophilia. But he. <laughs> <laughs> no, although if you want to fill your hole with pedophilia, Vosh is also a good place to go, apparently. I'm just saying. Uh, yeah.
man literally has a uh, defense child porn daily. Here's my dating advice. Number one, demonstrate your physical might. <laughs> when you're approaching a woman, you want to show that you're a powerful alpha yes, male uh -huh. that could mm -hmm. smash in her, this down. her skull yeah. at any time. Right. Number two, lock down all the escape Ooh, true, routes. True, you yes. don't want the woman to think she can run, no, okay? True. You want them lock, yeah, uh-huh. Slip some shit in her drink, she's out of her fucking mind, mm. causing a ruckus, okay? Wow. Gets put in an overnight cell, now's your chance. Shoot. I mean, this is what I did with Sneeko's girlfriend, and it worked really, really well. Shoot your shot, brother. When you get a girl back to your house, exits. Like, she was begging me to stay. You really want her to feel like she's made a terrible mistake. Huh. Number three, never take no for an answer. Mm. Remove the word no from your mind. Ooh, There's yeah. no such thing as no. Allow me sure. to show you how a real man flirts. Damn, he's hot. Oh. Hey. Hey, girl. How you doing? Hey, I got a... Uh, oh, I'm feeling a certain way right now. I got a place down down the street, you know, if that's some... That, that's something you'd be interested in, isn't it? Go there, I got some... Uh, Bro got his dating tips from the Ice King. <laughs> oh, no. He's in the freezer. You'd be interested in that. You're interested, aren't you? Yes or no question? Are you interested? No. No no's. No, no no's. No, that's the rules. No, 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 no's. No, no, no's. It's a yes only question. <laughs> no, no's. Boing loings. Boing loings. No, no's. Boing loings. <laughs> hey, uh... <laughs> hey, you're looking pretty cute right now. How we... Dude, what the fuck is this How video? you say we, uh... <sighs> how about we go down to... Back to my place. Go back to your place. Hmm? How about you let me in there? Uh, how, how about you let me in your house? Are you looking so nervous? Hmm? I don't know. This video right here is not as creepy as the Sneeko, as the Sneeko, as the Vosh videos. Honestly, <laughs> at least this is sarcastic. I hope. What do you think? I'm some kind of like uh, is some I'm kind of degenerate or something? <sighs> ah, you're real pretty. You know, Ice King out there, literally shaking his fist in the air. I like the look of you. I like the smell. I like the pheromones I'm getting from you. You wanna marry me? <laughs> when Vosh debates- It's as easy as that, gamers! The Ice King method. Tried and true. More success stories have been done that way than Vosh's. He's playing his own special game called How Can I Make This Guy Look Like a Nazi So I Can Put Fascist in the Title of the YouTube Video. True! Vosh called me a Nazi, it's pretty great. Again, it's a, it's a code of honor. Vosh, what do you mean? What is a white supremacist in your definition that you're using here? So, um, generally speaking, when I say white supremacist, I'm referring to a person who believes that there is A, some sort of fundamental distinction between B, uh, one race. who believes uh, that either the white race is has, is superior in some imperial... What the fuck is he talking about? ...some other social or actions B, to prioritize that group of people. Recognize that Asians and Ashkenazi Jews have a high... <laughs> Ashkenazi Jews, stray bullet! What the fuck, man? Huh? Your IQ. Huh? Uh, white supremacy. <laughs> what is he going on about? What is blood yapping about? Supremacy can be as vague and indistinct as like a Karen in some suburban neighborhood, what? like calling the police because she thinks there are some suspicious dudes outside because they're like black and they're just chilling. Okay. That's his definition for white supremacist. Isn't white supremacy just white people that think that white people are inherently better than other races? Isn't that white supremacy and has absolutely nothing to do with Ashkenazi Jews? Thank you. Are you fine with that definition of white supremacist before we continue? Uh, for me, like, <laughs> I would go with the, uh... Oh my god, is this a debate with Count Dankula? Bro, we had this man on the podcast. Person that feels that white people are superior to all other races. That's literally what I just said. All other races are, you know, are or should be subservient to whites and things should be done only for the benefit of whites. I mean, that's literally the definition, right? Bosh, do you have any issues with that definition? Yeah, that's not the actual definition at all. That's <laughs> what is he talking about? What is he talking about? White supremacy believes in ideas purporting natural superiority. The latest kid, the white human people, love racial groups is literally the definition. Oh my god. Dude is so, his head is so far up his own ass that he only believes in his own shit. Highly unacademic definition of white Dude, supremacy. oh my god. I, I, I can't believe it. Look at this. Look at the little. It gets better. It gets better. Look at these comments. But what about the Sephardi Jews? Can Sephardi Jews not be white supremacists? Oh, oh, the poor Sephardi Jews. Let's see. He does the same thing in static debates as well. Vosh will watch an entire video, get to the end, and then go, I'm going to be as charitable as I possibly can rewrite oh, now. Oh, me too. I'm going to be very charitable at the end for, the, for my conclusion of this situation. No. This guy hates black people. That's one of his tells. <laughs> Every time Vosh says he's going to be charitable, he responds instantly by calling the person a, a Nazi. You're going to be charitable. You're a Nazi. You deserve to die. Vosh's lover, his sister, or his child, if he ever says, I love you, run. 
I'm going to make an effort to be as charitable as possible to the arguments that I hear. It's every lazy, ad hoc, biased dismissal of the overwhelming evidence in favor of systemic racism. Now, how much of this inequality is due to the legacy of slavery and how much of it is due to the ensuing century of racist policies? In favor of an explanation which is at once non-explanatory and also very deeply suggestive. That doesn't mean anything. Of a biological problem with black people. He's so bad. What? That's not what was said at all. Oh my God. He'll watch a whole video and then like, in conclusion, he's a racist because he said that black people suck. Right? Is that, is that, that's what we just saw happen. And that's not what was said at all faith and debates that he once attempted to argue that H2O, the chemical compound for water, doesn't make water so long as it's in Mexico. This what? isn't true. No. That water has not always been H2O? Yeah. All you have to do is cross the Mexican border. And over there, it's aqua. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, please tell me he's joking. There's no way he's serious. <coughs> what? Well, not water. Aqua means water. Aqua is water. It's a different they, term. Uh, actually... What the fuck? This is the most anti-intellectual bullshit I've ever seen in my life. Not aqua, right? <laughs> and we're referring to terms and definitions here. No, I'm referring to water. The stuff that fills lakes and rivers. Mm. The stuff that fills about the word one. many things. Dude, I hate the brain rot, uh, scientifically brilliant intellectualism takes. Like the super debate brain takes. That's like, I, I'm discussing the term water. The term, English term of water is not actually used in, in, in Mexico. It's filled lakes and rivers. Okay. Um, do you honestly Things... not know what I mean when I talk about water? Or... Bosch has four separate- <laughs> Like, literally. It is the, uh, this is insane. Bro is actually the- This is typical debate brain. Okay, maybe I am gonna watch the hour and a half documentary The Lies of the Vosh is Unironically Evil that I saw floating around. Maybe I am actually gonna react to that at some point if you want. I was just here for the degeneracy and idiotness, and Bungie is doing a pretty solid job at highlighting exactly why this guy's a fucking nutcase. ...videos where he attempts to prove that PewDiePie is in fact the most oh, prominent- of course he's a, he's a PewDiePie racist guy. ...Nazi in history behind Hitler. I've watched all these videos, uh, it took me hours to get through them. I'm so sorry uh, to hear that. I am so- oh my god, I am sorry. Uh, quite frankly, the guy's insufferable. But I think I got the gist. Here are Vosh's completely sane reasons as to why PewDiePie is 100% a Nazi. Number one, he wore a hoodie with a Georgian cross on it, which looks like the Iron Cross, which isn't a Nazi symbol, it's a German military symbol. But he said that any symbol used by the Nazis is a Nazi symbol. But he also uses Pepe, so I guess- Wait, what? Hmm, Hitler drank water. PewDiePie drank water. Coincidence! He's signaling to his own Nazis as well. He retracted a donation to the ADL. Uh, you'd wonder why the Nazi would donate to the Jewish charity in the first place, but hey, there you go. It makes perfect sense. He said- I mean, uh, listen, listen. As far as Vosh things, that's that's as, as up there as anything. He called me a Nazi. He calls Jews Nazis. So, say- <laughs> Bro runs with his own definitions of everything in the English language. He wasn't a Nazi with too little gusto. I mean, I don't even know what? how to argue against that. It's just, it's just fucking blatantly retarded. Wait, he wasn't anti-Nazi enough? So therefore he's a Nazi? Because he wasn't anti-Nazi enough? He shouted out Nazi channel ER. He's a 100% confirmed Nazi. Oh, ER made a Nazi joke in an anime review? See, we know this because he made a Jew joke once. He did a meme review yeah. with notorious Jewish Nazi Ben Shapiro. <laughs> Dude, it's the notorious Jewish Nazis that get me every single time. He made a Jew joke once. He has some Nazis in his audience. Uh, probably, probably. Vosh uses this made-up terminology sometimes where he refers to people as Nazi adjacent. Which... What the fuck does that even mean? Which is his way of calling you a Nazi, but when called out on it, he can go, I didn't say you're a Nazi, I said you were Nazi adjacent. They all do every, uh, listen, if, if I call if I if I called him out on that and he got me with this defense, I would just I would fold right there. He wins. What does that fucking mean? I don't know, it's a it's a made up word, it can mean anything. Vosh is actually capitalist adjacent. Vosh is actually rapist adjacent. True. Vosh is actually pedophile non adjacent. <laughs> because he is an actual pedophile. <laughs> the Christchurch shooter referenced PewDiePie in his manifesto. Wasn't Count Chocula mentioned in that guy's manifesto? Count Chocula's a Nazi? True. It's, always, it's always the guys you least expect, isn't it? He was there when um, Paris fell. I have a conspiracy that people like Vosh are paving the way for new Hitler by yes. spamming people with the label. Dude, everyone gets called a Nazi now, so no one is. Dude, this is just the syndrome argument.
literally the syndrome argument. You got freaking the, if everyone's a super, no one is. If everyone's a Nazi, no one is. No one supported the Fourth Reich as much as Vosh. Nazis, it loses all meaning. We've reached a point now where I use the label of Nazi to determine who is or isn't a cool guy. I <laughs> Anyone that gets called a Nazi by Vosh is cool. Bro, I heard Vosh called Pippa a Nazi, and I was like, oh, fuck, I love Pippa. That's that's true. Yeah, I hear that someone's a Nazi, and I think, oh, this guy must be pretty cool. He must be pretty funny. Damn. The better the joke, the bigger the Nazi. That's how it works. Ooh. Basically, his major overarching point with PewDiePie is that it's happened too many times to be a coincidence. Therefore, he must be a Nazi. Mm. So, there you go. Right, now let's move on to the 30 plus times Vosh has defended child porn. Yeah, that's what we're here for, ladies and gentlemen. Actually, I've never been so excited to hear those words before in my life, but that is what we are here for. The Vosh degeneracy rabbit hole, baby. I get it. Dude, dude, Bungie, you freaking killed it. Guys, 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 I'm just saying, freaking check this man out. He absolutely killed it, this video. Big Bungie. Holy crap. All right, all right, all right. We still got the, the child porn rabbit hole to go down. Let's see what we got. You're convincing moral or legal argument as to why possession this of child clip. pornography should be illegal. It's this clip every single time. It's every single time. And there's no defense of it. And I'm waiting for people on Twitter to call me out for saying that I didn't understand his point to defend it enough. You fucking idiot. I understand his point. His point is because other bad things happen. But you are insane. Now, the most suspicious thing I'm noticing in this clip is his physical stance. He has a very weak stance. He very much has a beta stance. The ah, second most suspicious thing is when he- Is when he defended child porn. Defended child porn. Yeah, what, there we go, yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. what does he mean by no legal argument, by the way? It's illegal. What do you- There's no legal argument, but it's not legal. What do you mean there's no legal argument? It's literally illegal. Now, I could already guess you Vosh fans are asking me to show the full fucking context, so okay, I'll show the full context. Do you believe porn, which includes bestiality, increases the prevalence of zoophiles? Um, possibly, but I still don't care. I still think that, like, um, zoophile porn, like drawn stuff, it should be 100% legal. In fact, and this is going to be a real hot take, I have yet to hear a convincing moral or legal no, argument no. as to why possession of child pornography should be illegal. Actual child pornography. How's that for a hot fucking take? Now, to clarify on this take, as uh -huh. I feel it necessary to do so, um, we do not, in this country, um, typically uh, uh, criminalize people who have procured me uh, media or resources which were the product of abuse. Um, it is not illegal to own necklaces that have um, slave diamonds or whatever. What are they called? Um, <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. Dude, the full context is even worse than the out of context! Because at least in the out of context, you could imagine he said something else later. With the full context, it's just worse! Of course he defends zoophile porn and, and child porn. Bro literally has terabytes of zoophile child porn. Bro, I, I, my shaft is quivering, my balls are turning blue. I think of drinking in a foot or even two. My favorite stallion that I keep in my top drawer. Slip it in and out be dripping goo. You got blood diamonds? Yeah, all of our clothes produced by sweatshops, our computers, the silicon and lithium mined from literal fucking slaves. In our society, we have already deemed that people are not responsible for the mechanisms by which the media they consume and the content they uh, engage with. Are produced. I, I I'm hearing this take in its entirety because that is a lot of absolute nonsense words that he just said. Uh, the major difference is that there is an ethical way to procure diamonds. There is an ethical way to procure clothing. There is no ethical way to make child porn. I feel like that is probably the most obvious and basic take in the universe. You can't outlaw clothes because there are some unethical ways that clothes are produced. Are you fucking insane? Are you like actually unhinged? Does he actually, I, I thought that he was being ironic this whole time. Until when I saw this clip out of context, I thought it was ironic. With the context, it's so much worse. You are a living embodiment of cognitive dissonance. I can't believe it. No, 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 All you're about to make some really dumb fuck arguments. Because you encourage the production of porn? Yeah, and you encourage the slave mining that goes into uh, blood diamonds when you buy the necklaces. That is such a weird take. Obviously not. First of all, just because one thing bad doesn't mean everything. <laughs> this is immoral and legal, so everything immoral should be legal. Huh? You, incur you encourage the mining of, and, and, the, and the slaves that mine the lithium when you purchase electronics, okay? There is, it is the same thing. It Don't come at me with thing. your dumb fuck feels arguments, okay? If you feel you have a cogent argument, levy it my way, but I'm not interested in listening to your fucking feels on the issue. Vosh, bro, you're gonna need a pause. Whoop, look who just got banned. Oh, look who gets fucking banned for saying stupid shit in my channel. I don't tolerate that shit here, nope. Ooh, bruh, ooh, bruh, you have a point that I can't really argue against, but bruh, you should take a pause, bruh. Ooh. <laughs> Dude, he's, he's shadow boxing. He is debating himself right now. Bro, I, I cannot believe this. Wait, so his his defense for child porn is he's saying that child porn should be legal because other bad things are legal. That that is his defense of child porn. 
Ooh, bruh, yikes, bruh. Don't like that, bruh. Ooh, bruh. Ooh, bad, bad look, bruh. Big oof, bruh. Beef Dude, he's literally battling the demons in his head in real time. What is even going on? Bad. Feelings hurt. Thank you, Anarcho Attack. I'm objectively right on this. They're, they're morally identical. <laughs> he's, he's cooking! He doesn't stop! They shouldn't have let him cook. Listen, as I once said, and as I will say again, everyone can cook, but not everyone should cook. The difference being, of course, that there are far more people caught up in the slave labor and exploitation of the developing world than there are children we rape. So if anything, owning child pornography is probably a hell of a lot more ethical than wearing the t-shirts on your backs right now. He's fucking insane. Like, he's actually insane. Actually insane. There is an ethical way to make t-shirts. There is no ethical way to make child porn. So people consuming this shit, I feel like, uh, have a very, very different mindset to both. Uh, what are you- are you, like, actually brain dead? You like that argument? Ooh, you like that? You like that moral culpability? You're all worse than fucking CP owners, and I am too. Do you like that? <laughs> well, I mean, you are a CP owner. <laughs> I mean, you- I mean, you literally are a CP owner. I mean- <laughs> Oh, no. No ethical consumption under capitalism. Shit sucks, right? But if we accept that argument for slave labor, then we... I don't know. Capitalism is pretty based. Definitely have to accept it for child pornography. But then again, according to Vash, anyone that likes capitalism is a Nazi, so I guess that makes sense. One of those hardcore Jewish Nazis that he likes uh, cooking. None of it is... Yeah, I agree. None of it is ethical. But we've already made this social decision that people are not responsible for the systems by which the stuff they own... Oh, my God. I hate that there's so much context. It keeps getting worse. ...is produced. We've already made that decision. You're right, but you're kind of revealing your power level. No, this is exactly what I'm- This is exactly what I- <laughs> Wait, there's no way he read that out of all of his comments in chat. Out of all of his comments in chat, he read, Ugh, You're revealing your power level. Can you mean I'm right, but I'm revealing my fucking pedo power level because I'm right? No, this is a moral inconsistency in society. The answer should be that all of these things are bad. Nick DR was gonna make a video on this guy, by the way, but then he watched this clip and he went, He's right! Wearing Nikes is just as bad as watching child porn. What are you, fucking retarded? You fucking bashed your brain rolling down too many hills. Yeah, I'm not gonna believe- There's no way that, that he actually said that. There's no way Nick DiOrio saw that clip and was like, he's right. Was big man? Nah, That's right. literally what his argument is, no, by no, the way. There's no way. I'm not- There's no way. I'm not hearing it. I'm not hearing that. No way. I understand his argument perfectly well. He's saying the products of clothing are made through child exploitation, but it isn't illegal to own the products of their labor. But children are also exploited in the creation of CP, and you're not allowed to own the product of that labor. And that's hypocritical. Ergo, simply put, wearing Nikes is just as bad as watching child porn. He has to say it in a really overcomplicated way, because if he says it simply, everyone would recognize how fucking stupid it is. I love the idea that the average person <laughs> buys clothes to intentionally fuck over Syrian- Exactly, bro! No one's buying clothes to do this. Oh my god, no one even thinks of about it when they do that. Child slaves? You go into Sports Direct, you pick out a shirt, you take it to the cashier. Was this made by child slaves? Uh, yes, yes it was. Good. Now the first thing I'm noticing in this <laughs> clip is that Vosh seems to have some form of putrid growth on the side of his head. <laughs> God, what the? F I just found my new favorite YouTube commentary channel. <laughs> That's the first thing I noticed too! And also we defend the child porn. What, what is that? Actually, what is that? Is that like a cyst or like some kind of boil or something? What the fuck? That, is that is a cyst. It needs to be popped ASAP. Is it? If you think that's the only time he's weirdly defended pedophilia, you're wrong! He's done it, I would say, a concerning number of times. Dude, I said this literally to Muda yesterday. Um, if Voss would have only defended child porn once, and that's like, okay, whatever, that happens. If he would have defended child porn twice, alright, listen. It, it was a coincidence. It was a, if he defended child porn 47 times and then gets exposed to have tons of lolly porn on his computer after calling people that like lollies pedophiles, bro, I'm going to be charitable here and say that he's probably a pedophile. If, if you're not paying for child porn, if you're just getting it, there, there is no moral or legal argument against that. We've all he keeps going. There's literally billions of these clips. There's no way. Jerked it to lolly at some point or another. Ah! He said it. What age android girl do you think the average American man would be most attracted to? I think it would be somewhere from 14. Do you not want to answer the question? No, I think it'd be somewhere from 14 to 17. Ooh. I was having sex with other kids. Lots of. Ooh. Gross, gross sex. More than you'll ever imagine. To recognize this empirically correct fact that I am about to spit. Oh, he's about to spit, brother. It is possible. For an adult okay. NH. I know, this is the worst clip of them all. This is the worst clip of them all. Uh, I hope you're sitting down and buckled up. But I am about to spit. It is possible for an adult and a child to have a sexual relationship and for it to have positive outcomes on the child as well. No, it's that is the worst 
thing I've ever heard in my life. The worst thing ever. How is he not, like, how is there not an actual FBI agent sitting outside of his house? I do not even understand. Dungeon, dungeon, 20 years, no lawyers, no trial, no trial, dungeon, 20 years, this is unacceptable. Uh, dungeon, 20 years, no lawyers, no trial, 20 years, 7 years, no trial. This is how he says empirical fact. This guy's done the studies. He's I'm about to spit this empirical fact at you. Gather the data on that one. If you think... <laughs> That's bad. Wait until you see the bestiality. I see a lot of people in his audience who say that they used to be racist or whatever, and, and they must be lying. If you were actually a racist and you hated black people, thought they were inferior. If Vosch is actually the guy who convinced you to not be racist, <laughs> you should be ashamed of yourself. I c can't imagine what he possibly could have said that stopped you being a racist. This guy is the physical manifestation of Reddit. Him turning you away from racism <laughs> should not be something you express proudly. Oh, it should be a oh. deep-seated shame. My last two videos have been on- Honestly, being a fan of this guy should be a deep-seated shame. Like, I, I- listen, listen, listen. As someone that's got cancelled for being a gooner, because I make porn jokes in videos, trying to- and failing to be funny, um, this is the worst thing I've ever seen. Political people, and hopefully this will be the final one. Until next year, where I turn Hassan Piker's TwitchCon 2023 experience into a first-person horror experience. <laughs> what the frick? Oh, no. Before I leave, there is one thing I have to do. I'm ready. To purge myself of all this vile politics. Do it. Don't just touch grass. Subvert my expectations. Come on, bro. What is all that stuff? What 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 is that green stuff? <sighs> and all I know is I've seen a lot of Marvel movies, and in the part where the good guy gets framed, and he turns around, and there are a bunch of angry p cops and civilians staring at him, uh, he drops the gun and puts his hand up in the air, and he doesn't fucking unleash the the fucking Iron Man laser and cut down three hundred people. Uh, uh, who are threatening him implicitly by surrounding him and not allowing him free access out. At least 20 Marvel movies. I doubt you can find that many live leak videos of people being killed. So, yeah. The was was that him defending, like, the, the Kavanaugh shooter guy? Sorry, I know that you might not want to, but this is my new favorite clip of all time. This is an example of the kind of structure that I'm referring to. Oh, you can see this is an example so of the good. kind of structure that I'm oh referring to. Oh, you can see this is an example of the kind of structure that I'm referring to. Well, you can see it this is an example of the kind of structure that I'm referring it. to. Oh well, you can see this is. Fuck, dude, this is insane. Political streamers are cringe, dude. So cringe. Well, anyway, that was the Vosh degeneracy deep dive. If you want me to do the evils of Vosh another time, let me know. Maybe I'll do that. But, uh. Frick, that was insane. I cannot believe what I had just witnessed. Like, subscribe, and this video was streamed live on kick.com slash See you there. Stay weird, fam.